Meg, Jeffrey, you're both exceedingly accomplished executives. You have a long, illustrious careers doing many, many different things. Why, why start a new one? I mean, why, you, you, you could just be at the beach right now. Well, it's a little cold, but you could just be at the beach right now relaxing. Why, why start a start? Well, uh, let me start with just uh, history between Meg and I. Sure. So uh, we were overlapped at the Walt Disney Studios for about five years back in the sort of Jurassic era. We both moved on. Meg went on to be the CEO of eBay and built that into an $80 billion company. And uh, I went on and started DreamWorks with uh, Stephen and David. When DreamWorks Animation became a public company, I went to Meg and asked her if she would join the, the board of the public company, and she did. And so we were back together again uh, for uh, about three years or so. Um, she called me up one day and said, um, I'm going to run for governor. And I went, really, in what state? She said, California. I went, really, in what party? She said, Republican. And I said, really, you actually have thought that through? <laughs> okay, so I might have failed the IQ test. <laughs> um, anyway, she went on to have a uh, spectacular uh, six and a half years at Hewlett Packard, took this iconic, um, I would say, uh, 20th century uh, enterprise and yanked it into the 21st century, and uh, we had a great partnership between them and, and uh, DreamWorks Animation. And so when Quibi sort of was still in the idea, um, sort of bigger concept phase of it, um, what was clear to me from the outset is a little bit of what Meg just said, which is, is that um, this is about doing what the best of what we do here, what producers do in terms of great story and great storytelling and giving them the resources to do it in a new way, married with uh, what has to be a state-of-the-art new <coughs> platform to do it on. And I could not do I know what I know. I know what I don't know. She knows what I don't know. So that was sort of the beginning of our, of our partnership. To answer your question, Andrew, I would say, I think for both of us, um, uh, we, we've both uh, been uh, uh, sort of starter entrepreneurs, people that um, were excited by sort of the things that would seem somewhere between improbable and impossible. Mm -hmm. And that's our home address. That's where we live. <laughs> and uh, I know for me, that has always been when I'm most excited, most challenged, most engaged in trying to do something um, that is a first, that is new, that is hard. Uh, and I think that's where, you know, we have found a bond and a partnership, um, certainly for, for me. Yeah, I would, I would say the same thing. You know, I was thinking after I stepped down from HP where I told the board I would stay five years and I was still there six and a half years later. It was really time. Um, I thought, listen, I'm the incoming chair of, well, actually now the chair of Teach for America. I thought, you know, I'll hang out and do some interesting things. And literally the day I um, stepped down for, or said I would step down from HP, I get a phone call from Jeffrey. And he goes, well, what are you doing? And I said, I don't know, I'm gonna retire and do Teach for America, I'm passionate about education. He goes, no, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> and I said, oh, knowing you as I do, I'm probably having dinner with you. <laughs> and uh, so he pitched me the early concept and I- Got said, on a plane, flew up to <laughs> Silicon Valley and had dinner with her that night. And uh, as- It's a short flight, to be fair. <laughs> and at the end of you know, this three hour dinner, I looked at him, I said, this is a really good idea. This is a really good idea, and um, I think, you know, subject to figuring out where we're going to live, we have since moved to um, Los Angeles, um, I think we have one more, I've got one more startup in me, so, and so we've been together since March of last year, and it's been great fun.